Nadia and Shane arrive at the meat section of the supermarket. Okay, let's pick out some meat for tonight's barbecue. What do we need? Well, we're cooking chicken, pork, and beef. All right, I'll grab some chicken wings then. Don't forget to look at the date on the package. Find the freshest meat. We should get some steaks too. How about these? Those look like great cuts. They don't have too much fat either. One more thing. We need some pork. These thick pork chops look really juicy. They're perfect. Hello everyone. My name is Jeff. And I'm Hanny. Welcome to part B of our lesson. The dialogue we are reading from is called, Let's Get Some Food. As I'm sure you've concluded, yes, food and shopping for food is going to play a big role in today's lesson. That is correct. Anyway, as I'm sure you can all recall, Shane and Nadia, our characters, are shopping. Together, they're at the supermarket picking up some groceries. Mm. Now, on part A of this lesson, Shane and Nadia got some fruit, some bananas and some sweet apples from Japan. Then they headed over to the vegetable section there in the supermarket. Right, and there they picked up fresh corn and some cabbage. Have a cabbage to be exact. Boy, does that ever sound good. I'm getting hungry. I could really go for some fresh corn right now. Me too. And get this, the parade of delicious food is going to keep on coming. Mm. Today, Shane and Nadia are going to be picking out some meat. In fact, they'll start doing so right after you all have gotten acquainted with today's vocabulary. 在前一天的对话当中 ，Nadia 跟 Shane 逛了水果区，还有蔬菜区。现在他们来到肉品区，想要买一些晚上烤肉要用的肉。Nadia 拿了一些鸡翅。那么 Shane 提醒他要看一下包装上面的日期，要拿最新鲜的哦。先来看两个单字 ，wing。Wing 是翅膀，它在课文里面是当名词用。例如 ，He ordered some chicken wings and a large coke. He ordered some chicken wings and a large coke. 他点了一些鸡翅，还有一杯大杯的可乐。下一个单词是 package。Package 它在课文里面是当名词，表示包装。例如 ，She used scissors to cut the package open. She used scissors to cut the package open. 她用剪刀把那个包装剪开来。那么接着 Nadia 提议说要买牛排。他们有看到几片牛排，看起来很不错，也没有太多油脂。那这边有两个单字 ，steak。steak 就是牛排，它是当名词用。当我们点牛排的时候，服务生有可能会问说 ，How would you like your steak? How would you like your steak? 意思就是说，你的牛排要几分熟呢？最后一个单词是 fat。fat 它在课文里面当名词，表示脂肪。例如 ，most fast foods are high in fat。most fast foods are high in fat。大部分的素食餐点都是高脂肪食物。好啦，现在我们看完单字例句，接着回到课文中。Nadia and Shane arrive at the meat section of the supermarket. Okay, let's pick out some meat for tonight's barbecue. What do we need? Well, we're cooking chicken, pork, and beef. All right, I'll grab some chicken wings then. Don't forget to look at the date on the package. Find the freshest meat. One. Welcome back to part B of our lesson. Okay, without further ado, let's start reading from today's installment of 
Let's get some food. Okay. Before the break, I said that Shane and Nadia would be picking out some meat today. I was not lying. Before the action kicks off, you see Nadia and Shane arrive at the meat section of the supermarket. That's where you get meat in the supermarket. 真的吗？真的。Amazing. Anyways, though, all jokes aside, that was super funny. What's also funny, though, is that it's already time to hear from Teacher Daphne. How about that? 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 Somebody arrives at place. 意思是某人抵达某地。Arrive 是不及物动词抵达的意思。因此要搭配介系词 at， 引出范围比较小的目的地。例如 ，SpongeBob arrived at Krusty Krab， 海绵宝宝抵达蟹老板餐厅。如果目的地的范围比较大，则介系词用 in。例如 ，The baseball team arrived in Japan last night， 棒球队昨晚抵达日本。And we're back. Okay, let the meat selection begin. Remember, Nadia and Shane are looking to bite some meat. Apparently, they're having or will be attending a barbecue. Correct. Now we know this is true because of what Nadia says in the first lines of today's lesson. After arriving at the meat section, she says, "Let's pick out." Some meat for tonight's barbecue. What do we need? Whoa, there, Jeff. Slow down. Give Teacher Daphne the time to re-enter our lives. <gasps> 第二则文法是 pick out， 意思是挑选。Pick 在这里是及物动词挑选的意思。Out 是副词出来的意思。合在一起 ，pick out。字面意思就是挑选出来，为可分动词片语。例如 ，Flora picked out a dress for the party. 弗罗拉挑好了派对要穿的洋装。Okay, not long ago, Nadia asked the all-important question: What do we need? What meats do we need for tonight's barbecue? Well, Shane knows what they need to get. He says, "Well, we're cooking chicken, pork, and beef." Wow, that's a lot. This barbecue is starting to sound awesome. You know what they say: the more meat. The better. <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, Nadia hears Shane and decides to get the chicken. All right, she says, "I'll grab some chicken wings then." Mm-hmm. But then Shane stops her, and he says, "Don't forget to look at the date on the package." You see, Shane wants to find the freshest meat. By the way, do you know who else enjoys freshness? <gasps> Teacher Daphne. 第三则文法是 don't forget to 加原形动词，意思是别忘记做某事。这是一句否定祈使句，句构是 don't 加上原形动词。动词 forget 则是忘记的意思。不定词 to be 则表示未来要做的事情。合在一起。Don't forget to 加原形动词，就是别忘记做某事。例如 ，It's cold. Don't forget to bring a coat. 天气很冷，别忘了带外套哦。谢谢 Daphne 老师的讲解。刚刚我们看到呢 ，Nadia 说她要拿一些鸡翅，她用到 grab 这个字。Grab 它表示抓取或者是拿。那么 Shane 提醒 Nadia 要拿最新鲜的鸡翅。那么它用到 freshest。Freshest 它是形容词 ，fresh 的最高级就表示最新鲜的。Okay, Shane only likes the freshest meat. Luckily, they're able to find some wings that are to his liking. I know this because next Nadia grabs a package of wings and puts it in the basket. Correct. Okay, with that, 
It is now time to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. We should get some steaks too. How about these? Those look like great cuts. They don't have too much fat either. One more thing. We need some pork. These thick pork chops look really juicy. They're perfect. Explanation two. Welcome back, everyone. Before the break, Shane and Nadia started to shop for meat. Shane is the meat man. He knows that they're going to need chicken, pork, and beef, and that fresh meat is the best meat. Yep. Now, not long ago, Shane and Nadia picked out some fresh chicken wings. That means that they still need to get the pork and the beef. Right. And speaking of beef, next Nadia thinks of and then finds some beef. We should get some steaks too, she says. Then she finds some steaks and asks Shane what he thinks of them. How about these? She says. Well, Shane thinks the world of Nadia's steaks. Those look like great cuts, he says. He likes the fact that these juicy cuts don't have too much fat either. Yep. So, both chicken and beef have been taken care of. What about the pork, though? Well, Nadia is wondering the same thing. One more thing, she says. We need some pork. Ha! Pork. That's no problem for the meat man, Shane. In fact, by the end of today's dialogue, he has already zeroed in on some excellent pork. These thick pork chops look really juicy, he says. They're perfect. 哦、oh, ，听到鸡翅、牛排、猪排，大家有没有开始饿了呢？那最后帮同学补充几个单字 ：cut，cut， cut, 在课文里面是当名词，它表示切片，像肉的切片呢，你就可以用 cut 来表达。还有 pork chop，pork chop 就是猪排。那么 juicy，juicy juicy 就是形容多汁的。哦、oh, ，thick juicy pork chops。Now I'm getting hungry. Well then. Let's eat up. After all, we're now free to go and eat and be merry. Seeing as though today's lesson is now in the books. He's right, folks. It is indeed now time for a break. But don't worry, we'll be back soon. soon. Nadia and Shane arrive at the meat section of the supermarket. Okay, let's pick out some meat for tonight's barbecue. What do we need? Well, we're cooking chicken, pork, and beef. All right, I'll grab some chicken wings then. Don't forget to look at the date on the package. Find the freshest meat. We should get some steaks too. How about these? Those look like great cuts. They don't have too much fat either. One more thing, we need some pork. These thick pork chops look really juicy. They're perfect. Hello, 
Don't argue with me. Let me pick up the tab. 二 It's on me. 三 Foot the bill. 四 I'm treating. 各国人情味呢，有个地方很像，就是呢，大家不陌生的，就是抢结账，抢着要付账这件事情，就是做这个面子，对，对不对？真的吗？常常看到餐厅的收银处的地方，有人在抢付钱，有没有？哎、啊，这个我来，我来，我来，我来，我来，好，那你来吧。这是一个很有礼貌，但是也有趣的画面，而且要帅气的说出这这段我请，有没有？嗯，好，这个英文要怎么表达？很简单嘛，哈，起手式就是啊，你不要跟我争。我来付。不要了，不要不要，我来我来我来我来。这个英文呢，就是 Don't argue with me. Don't argue with me. 啊，不要跟我争，不要跟我吵。Let me pick up the tab. Let me pick up the tab. 对，这个 pick up the tab 就是付账。这个 tab 呢是账单的意思，所以 pick up the tab。对 ，Let me pick up the tab。对，这是你的嘛，对不对？对，我钱包拿错了。Let me pick up the tab。哈，这个账让我来解。哦，哎、嗯欸，以前我们也学过啊，什么 It's on me， It's on me，、嗯、对，不是在我身上哦，哦，这个压压在我身上，不是，哦、是这摊这摊算我的，这一顿算我的，我来付钱，好吗、嗯？所以呢，这个 something is on somebody， 就是呢，谁谁谁付钱、嗯。那有时候我们会听到这句话说 This beer is on the house， 店家请客。对，不是这种句我听得懂。对，不是 beer 在家里。<笑>在房子上面啊，这个店家请客的意思啊，对对对。This beer is on the house. On the house. 对，但有时候我们抢账单就会说，哎呀呀，上次你请，这次换我啦。然后那个钱包一直出不去，哎呀，这次换我，对，一直换我啦，这样子。<笑> OK， 你知道吗？上次你请，这次换我。来，我们说呢 ，You treated me last time. You treated me last time. 上次是你付钱的哈，你请我。Let me foot the bill this time. Let me foot the bill this time. 对 ，foot the bill 呢？用脚。对，没有，就是付账的意思啊。这个片语 ，foot the bill， 这口语的用法，付账的意思啊。那这个 treat 的话，就是对待，还有请客，都是这个意思啊。Foot the bill。嗯哼。所以你刚刚说请客。Treat。所以我可以说 ，I'm。Treating this time, 可以啊。我就说说而已的，我说说而已的，没这件事情。我刚刚练习英文而已。好吧，我们看一下今天的 live action。哇，有有。Yes. Tonight has been great. Yes, you're right. Nice food, great music, and a good friend. Yes. We should do this more often. Yes. Listen. Yeah. Please don't argue with me. Oh no. Let me pick up the tab. No, no, no! It's on me tonight. You haven't treated me many times. Let me foot the bill. Let me foot the bill. Come on! I ask you out to dinner, so I'm treating. Ah,、uh, no! Let me foot the bill. Oh my god! Oh, okay. Thank you. Let me do it next time, okay? Okay. Okay. No bye. No problem. Hello, 大家好，我是 Henry， 又到一分钟的单元喽。今天我们要用一分钟的时间来复习四个单词。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟计时，开始。好，第二单词是翅膀。翅膀怎么说呢？像鸡翅、鸭翅的翅膀，可以用这个字哦。它叫做 wing， wing。These fried chicken wings look delicious。哇，这些炸鸡翅看起来好好吃哦。好，第二单词它这边当名词用来表示包装某个东西产品的外包装的包装怎么说呢？叫做 package， package。I can't find the expiration date on the package. 哎，我在包装上面找不到那个有效期限呢。好，第三个单词是牛排，好多人都爱吃牛排，对不对？这字怎么说呢？叫做 steak。Steak. They went to a steakhouse to celebrate Megan's birthday. 他们去牛排馆吃饭庆祝 Megan 的生日。好，第四个单词是大家很怕出现在身上的东西，叫做脂肪。脂肪怎么说？叫做 fat. Fat 是不是听起来像肥啊 ？Cheese is high in fat. Cheese 的脂肪含量很高。好，太好啦！我们在一分钟之内顺利复习完四个单词，完成任务喽。同学们表现很棒，那平常还是要多多复习，多多造句练习。我们下次见喽，拜拜。